I didn't think I'd have any problems finding a good job after I finished my degree. But now my girlfriend's struggling to support both of us. If there are no jobs out there, what am I supposed to do? I can't support you forever, you know. I can't. Come on, Ben, get up. Hey babe, just had a reply from the National Career Service. Yeah, it was really quick. It seems quite helpful. I'll probably get back to them after I've been to the shop. Jeff actually sounds interested. Yeah, definitely. He's looking at my CV to help me out in the short term. That's great. That means script writing will take a back seat for a while, doesn't it? Well, we discussed that. It does make sense. So what happens now? He's calling tomorrow. That's brilliant. Morning, sleepy. Let me know how the call goes to Jeff. Sounds like you need to find a job as soon as possible to help with the finances, mm -hmm. but you don't want to give up on your passion for writing. I'm going to help you to create a plan for what to do now and what to work towards in the future. Okay. If any brick walls or come up against any barriers, you can always talk about how to overcome them. So I'm going to think more about long-term and short-term goals, rework my CV and try to work on my own things in my spare time. See what happens then, I guess. That sounds like a good plan. And if you need any help with anything, give me a shout. Otherwise. Shall we speak again in a couple of weeks? Thanks, Jeff. This has been great. Good to meet you, Ben. Judging from your CV, I can see why you'd like to work here. Yeah, great, actually. Listen, have you still got your video kit? One point with Ben that he made to me was about the, that he felt that if he didn't get a job straight away in screenwriting or working with scripts, he felt that he would never achieve that goal. He realised that perhaps by gaining a job in something like, uh, that, that was related perhaps to the creative industries like working in a theatre or a bar in a theatre, that this could actually launch him into you know, giving him opportunities, especially with something like uh, anything in the creative industries like script writing. It is important to actually get, gain networks and talk to people and gain contacts. We helped him to sort his CV out, helped to think about what he's trying to do with his CV, again in the short term and the, and the longer term as well. So I think he's moved, uh, moved forward in, in that respect as well, and also actually going out to speak to employers, because that's what we, we do try and talk to and emphasise to people, that the more they get to, to speak and the, to talk to employers and the more they actually practice and develop their skills, then the more opportunities are going to come, and, and, uh, and certainly that's happened for Ben, and it's, it's a really good result for him. 
many people don't perhaps know what to expect when they contact the careers service. Uh, and it may be the first time they've ever had careers advice, uh, or perhaps previous careers advice hasn't been uh, what they expected it to be. And I think it's um, usually it's a pleasant surprise to people when they do contact us and they realise the depth and the level of support that we can provide.